I was raised in a Buddhist home. Uh, my mother has um, practiced Buddhism since she was 28, 27. Um, she was raised Catholic, but in her, wor in her words, were it wasn't working for her. And in the 60s in Southern California, there were lots of an explosion of um, spiritual things and a Buddhist lady approached her and um, as she put it, that changed her life. And so she became a Buddhist and raised her children as Buddhists. And so um, from the time I can, early memories, I was praying, chanting to an altar. And I moved here to Tennessee and I met a man and he was a Christian. And I wanted to know more about this Jesus that he that proclaimed was his Lord and Savior. And so I took a religion course at a local college. And this professor, Dr. Dover, just brought religion to life. And um, he made Jesus sound like someone I could get to know. And so he allowed me to do my re research paper on Jesus Christ. That began the, the stirring and the questions and also a lot of doubts as to what I believed. In Buddhism, we don't need saviors. We are a savior. We are a God ourselves. So why would I need a savior? And how could someone go through that for me was um, too much. It was too much. And so I really started to struggle with um, who this person says that he was. I had promised my husband that I would attend church with him, that I would go to at least two services a month. And they had a wall with a canvas on that you could go and write your burden on or a prayer. And um, I felt this pool, literal pool up onto my feet, all over to the wall. And I wrote, Lord, I want you to forgive me for not knowing who you are. I want to feel your love and grace tear down my walls without realizing what I was praying, what I was asking for. I felt this surge of energy to, to go over to the cross. And I w ran the aisle, and when I ran down the aisle t looking for the door is really what I was doing because I could not understand what was happening to me, I ran right into the communion table. And that was so significant because in my paper on Jesus Christ, I went into quite detail about the crucifixion. Well, as I stood there, very emotional, shaking horribly, crying horribly, I heard two voices, very two distinct voices that said, this is not who you are, Kat. You're a Buddhist. This is who you are. You don't belong here. And the other voice, if you don't take this bread, you will surely die. And it frightened me so much so that I took, the, I took communion. And it was the first time I'd ever taken it. I took it through my shaking hands and hysterical crying. It was the first time I felt true peace. And I packed up my altar and I returned it to um, Japan. And I haven't regretted that decision, not once. And I feel uh, alive as I've in the last two years studied scripture that I'm alive before I was dead and I was worshiping a dead God and I'm alive and he's alive in me. How great the love of Jesus Christ cross of Calvary, the blood was shed that pardons me, no longer 